How to get $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up to DigitalOcean, get your $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits, and create your first droplet on DigitalOcean. Droplets are what DigitalOcean calls virtual private servers or cloud servers. The very first thing you'll need to do is click my referral link in the video description below. This referral link right here will take you to this sign up page. Here you'll be able to sign up to DigitalOcean and start your free trial with $200 in cloud credits for 60 days. You have to be a first time DigitalOcean customer. This $200 cloud credits is for new users, so you will need to create a new account on DigitalOcean. To do this, simply fill in your email address, pick a password, and then click on create free account. You can also sign up with your Google account or your GitHub account. I'm going to be creating a DigitalOcean account with my email address. So I'm just going to fill in my email address now. Once you've entered in your email address, pick a password. Once you've chosen a password, click on create free account. Once you've done that, you may be greeted with a security check. To complete it, simply click on verify. And then you'll have a task to do. So I'll need to pick the image of the striped shape and the checkered shape. So that is this one here. Great, so I'm not a bot. I've succeeded in finishing the spam detector quiz. Now I'll need to confirm my email address. So DigitalOcean has sent me an email to my email address and I'll need to confirm my email address by clicking the link in the email that they sent me. So I'll be back with you once I've got that email open in my inbox. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm viewing the email that DigitalOcean sent me. So it says to finish creating your DigitalOcean account, confirm your email address by clicking this link. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on it now. Once you've done that, there's a small questionnaire that you can fill in or skip. I'm just going to fill it in quickly here. So how do I plan to use DigitalOcean? I'm not sure yet. What is your role or business type? I'm just going to choose hobbyist or student. What do you spend on cloud infrastructure? So I'm just going to select between zero and $50 and then I'm going to click on submit. Next, you'll need to verify your identity. In order to use DigitalOcean, you must first verify your identity with a payment method. This allows us to better guard our community against spammers and bots. So you have two payment methods that you can link up to your DigitalOcean account. The first is add a card and the second is connect PayPal. So I'm going to go with add a card. So I'm just going to click on that and then I'm going to fill in my card details and my billing address. And then I'm going to click on save payment method. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you've entered in all your billing details, click on save payment method. And once you've done that, your billing details will be added to DigitalOcean. You'll then be greeted with this welcome page. You'll immediately notice at the top right hand corner that it says credit $200 and it expires in 59 days. So that means you've successfully got the $200 in free DigitalOcean trial credits. This means you have $200 in credits to try out any DigitalOcean service within 60 days. On this welcome page, you can jump into some of DigitalOcean's most popular solutions if you want. If you're not ready to jump in yet, you can just click on explore our control panel. This will take you to your DigitalOcean dashboard. As you can see on the top left-hand corner underneath projects, DigitalOcean creates a project for you called First Dash Project. In this project, you can try out a DigitalOcean service. For demonstration purposes, let's spin up a DigitalOcean service called Droplets. To spin up a droplet, navigate to the green button which says Create and click on it. Once you've done that, at the very top, you should see the DigitalOcean service called Droplets, which is what DigitalOcean calls cloud servers, also known as a virtual private server or VPS. Click on Droplets to select this service. If you're not at the top already, scroll up to the very top and then you should see Create Droplets. First, you'll need to start off by choosing a region for your droplet. Let's go for New York for this video demonstration. Underneath, you can select a data center. So for New York, there's three data centers. I'm going to go with the New York data center one. Continue scrolling down until you see where it says choose an image. Here you can select the Linux operating system for your droplet. As you can see, you can choose from Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, CentOS, Alma Linux, and Rocky Linux. I'm going to be going with Ubuntu. As you can see, it's already pre-selected. And the version of Ubuntu, just click on this arrow, that I'm going to be going with is 22.04 LTS x64. Once you've chosen your droplet, Droplets image, scroll down until you see where it says choose size. So the cheapest droplet type is going to be shared CPU, which is the basic plan. To the right, you have all the dedicated CPU types. First of these dedicated CPUs is general purpose, CPU optimized, memory optimized, and storage optimized. If you go with a dedicated CPU, your bills will be higher. Now, because this is a video demonstration, I'm going to stick with shared CPU basic. So I'm going to click on this. It's already pre-selected for me. If it's not for you, just simply click on it. Once you've done that, scroll down until you see where it says CPU options. You have the regular disk type SSD, you have premium Intel and premium AMD. Both of these premium CPUs have NVMe SSDs. NVMe SSDs are the latest SSD types. Personally, 
I like these premium CPUs. I'm going to be going with premium AMD. So I'm just going to click on this blank circle next to it to select it. Underneath, you have various plans of different computing powers. Furthest to the left hand side, it will be the cheapest plan with the lowest specs. And furthest to the right, you have a more expensive plan, but also higher computing specs. Because this video is just a demonstration, I'm going to be going with a $7 a month plan where I'll get one gigabyte of RAM, one premium AMD CPU, 25 gigabytes of NVMe SSD storage and a thousand gigabytes or one terabyte of transfer bandwidth. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, I've got $200 in cloud credits. Why don't I select a higher plan? Because of course this is only $7 a month. So I'll only use about $14 of my $200 cloud credits in 60 days. Well, that's because I'm not limited to this droplet. I could create multiple droplets and use and test multiple services in digital oceans. So I'm not just going to go with this droplet only during my 60 day trial, I'll be experimenting with with other digital ocean services also. Next, continue scrolling down. As you can see, you've got additional storage that you can add volumes if you want to your plan. And further down, you've got to choose an authentication method. So you can choose between an SSH key or a password. I'm going to be going with password. It's already pre-selected for me. Here, I'll need to create a root password for my digital ocean droplet. Underneath, you can see the password requirements that digital ocean requires. So I'm just going to fill in a password now. Once you've chosen a root password for your droplet, continue scrolling down. You'll then see we recommend these options. You can add improved metrics monitoring and alerting. This is free, so you can just check mark this if you want it. Go into production, enable backups. You can check mark this if you want it. And likewise, you can add a worry-free managed database for this amount, and you can check mark this if you want. On it. Now I'm not going to add any of these services. There's also further advanced options. Again, you don't need to add any of these services if you don't want to. Continue scrolling down until you see where it says finalize details. Here you can select the quantity of digital ocean droplets with the configuration that you have just set. So I'm going to leave it as one droplet. And then to the right, you can pick a host name for your droplet, which is basically the name of your droplet. So I'm just going to delete what's pre-typed in here by digital ocean. And I'm going to give my first droplet on digital ocean the name test server. Once you've chosen a host name, all that's left to do is to deploy your droplet by clicking on create droplet. DigitalOcean will then begin creating your cloud server. I'll be back with you once the progress bar reaches 100% and our droplet is up and running. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, our droplet is now up and running and you can see that by the green status on the left hand side. All that's left to do now is to connect to your DigitalOcean droplet. To do this, you'll need to copy the IP address of your droplet. So here's the IP address of mine. It'll be different for you. Mine is 165.22.5.19. To the right hand side, there's an option to copy. Just click on it to copy the IP address to your clipboard. Next, I'm going to minimize my browser to be taken to my desktop. To log into your droplet, you'll need an SSH client. The SSH client that I'm going to use to connect to my digital ocean droplet is called putty. If you don't have an SSH client, you'll need to install one. If you want a step-by-step -step video on how to install an SSH client like putty, then I'll put a link to a video of mine in the video description below that takes you through the process of installing putty. If you're not on Windows, you'll need to use an alternative SSH client. So once you've got your SSH client installed, double click on it to open it, and then you'll need to enter the host name or IP address of your digital ocean droplet. Of course, guys, you have already copied it. So just simply paste it in. You're going to leave port 22 as it is, connection type as SSH, and then you're going to click on open. Once you've done that, if you're using putty, you'll be greeted with this putty security alert, which says the server's host key is not cached in your registry. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. Now, of course, guys, we know this is our server because we have just created it. You have the option to click on accept, connect once or cancel. I'm going to click on accept and then I'm going to maximize my putty terminal window here. We're going to be logging in as root, so type root, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Next, you'll need to enter the root password of your DigitalOcean droplet. This is the password, of course, that you chose during the creation of your droplet. So I'm just going to enter my password in now. And once you've done that, just simply hit enter on your keyboard. And there we go. We have successfully logged in to our DigitalOcean droplet, and we can now begin entering commands into the terminal. If you'd like to watch more videos on DigitalOcean droplets, then check out my playlist in the video description below. These videos will show you how you can use the digital ocean services to deploy websites, create a custom VPN, or even make your own media server. Having your own cloud server unlocks a lot of potential and you are free to create to your heart's content. All right, so that pretty much concludes this video on how to get $200 in free digital ocean cloud credits. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so hard to let you go?